Well, it's been a long road back to title contention and a heavyweight championship opportunity for this man, but he has put in all the right work, and a lot of people give him a great chance to get the job done tonight. You know, when you've been there and you get back here, it's not new. There are a lot of things that are familiar, but how do you change the result? How do you assure that in this time, during this chance, you ultimately walk away with the championship? He's been here before, John. The team's been here before. They are confident that this time they get it done. And that self-belief is rooted in the preparation, right? He's got speed, he's got power, all the tools to wrest the belt away. We'll see if we have a new UFC heavyweight champion by night time. Just when you thought you had seen it all in the octagon, we are graced with the presence of one Cassius Clay, Muhammad Ali, taking his act to mix martial arts. I mean, he's so pretty, John. And I always huh. says, I'm so pretty. He looked pretty inside the boxing ring. He intends to do the same thing inside the octagon tonight. This guy is such a great athlete. He talks what he's going to do, but he also delivers. Olympic gold medalist, boxing heavyweight, light heavyweight world champion. He has done it all. A true icon in combat sports makes his UFC debut tonight. And to the surprise of some, he told us in the fighter meeting he's got an appetite for the wrestling stuff. So we'll see if Ali can mix it up a little bit tonight. Happy to have him here in the UFC. The greatest of all time, Muhammad Ali. We are set for our main event of the evening. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. All right, now for the introductions, we go to Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger, Dynamite. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending USC heavyweight champion of the world, Muhammad There's Herb Dean. He will handle the action inside the octagon. All right, so here we are, the MMA leader back in London, England. It's amazing to think back to UFC 75 when the UFC first came to the UK. Now you're talking about 25 shows in the United Kingdom, but few markets as rabid about mixed martial arts as London is. And the moment you saw guys like Michael Bisping start to fight the UFC, he seemed as though he was alone. Now there are many, a number of English fighters who have their dreams of headlining this arena. Back to the overhand right, not there. Nice counter punch there as he continues to make good use of this advantage and reach. Oh, nice check on the leg kick offering there. Fast jab lands there. I mean, these guys are letting it fly. What a pace that they're fighting. Nice straight punch there. Ooh, I, I don't do that as well as you do. But man, he's coming out swinging tonight. He is bringing the heat. This dude is trying to end this night early. Can you give us some ooh, please? Ooh, wee! <laughs> so good. All right, so now blood is a factor. You see that he has been opened up in that eye area. Yeah, he's got hit in the eye, and now there's a cut. But it's nothing to worry about too much now. But he's got to be very careful with it as we go forward. Whiffs on that offering. Nice job to control the range and using his reach advantage to, the, to get that punch up. Oh, nice. 
nice takedown defense. Fight is Sheffery. All right, so he lands another hook. He's already landed several in the round. That one might have been the most significant. That was the best one. But what I like about him throwing this punch over and over again, he just has a fantastic ability to land that punch. They're so evenly matched. They're going to the catch. Well, we've seen a lot of different elements to his striking game tonight, especially that hook. We'll see if he sets it up again here. He has punctuated a lot of his combinations with that hook shot tonight. Muhammad Ali's hook to the body now is blocked. And there it is. There's the hook again. DC, you saw that coming. There won't be anything extra in your paycheck this week, but nicely done. You can see him setting it up. You see him just throwing the right hand out, cocking himself to get the left hand going. Or you see him throw the jab, cocking the right arm to spin back and get complete power with the right hook. It's amazing to watch it land after watching him set it up over and over again. Well, he blocked the shot there. Two minutes now to go in the opening round. Straight punch lands. Well, he keeps going back to the well with that left hand, just out of range. Ali's nose is bleeding now. Yes, looks as though he got cut by one of those offerings from his opponent. Oh, big left hand there. Oh, and he tags him with the straight, beautifully placed there by Ali. Man, it's almost like he's got a range finder out there. Just too easy as he connects with another good series of punches. If you're boxing this guy and only boxing him, you will be in trouble. Guillotine jump. Oh, nice guillotine there. Good job by the champ there. Slide back up. Now drops inside that closed guard, DC. Full guard. Let's see how patient he is as he attacks a submission or big round of box. Less than a minute to go in the round. Back to his feet. Oh, man, the blood is flowing now. I know a lot of you like that, but he has got to figure some things out defensively or this fight's going to end. He's got to move his head, John. But the problem is, now he's got some blood to deal with. He's got a sharp striker in front of him. He has got a lot of things to deal with if he wants to win this fight. But right now, the focus needs to be on the head movement so you're not getting hit in that cut. 20 seconds left. Oh, nice. Slips the punch nicely there. Outstanding back and forth first Stop. round. All right, so the round is over, and you see the cut man not wasting any time as the fighter makes his way back to the stool. The cut man will try to shut that cut on the bridge of his nose and prevent it from becoming a factor here moving forward. All right, we'll re-rack some replays from the previous round as they attend to that pretty nasty cut in his eye area. You got to lock in defensively, man. You cannot be out there just fighting. His opponent is too high level to try to fight him with his ego. Now he's dealing with a nasty cut over his eye. Why do you need another thing to manage when you already got one of the best fighters in the world in front of you? You ready to fight? Ready. Round two here. All right, so as this next round gets underway, hopefully the good action we saw in the last round will continue. Both fighters certainly had their ups and downs. Both got the offense going. But now we'll see if one fighter or the other can really take control of what has been a very close fight thus far. Beautiful strike there as he continues to attack that cut. Cut man's gonna have some work to do if we get to the stool between rounds. But that's why we got the best in the business. We got the best cut men in the business, and they are going to need him right now because this cut is getting worse, and it's only gonna continue to get worse because he has got a killer in front of him. Just missed with the left there. Well, no feeling out process tonight. Both fighters invoking damage on the other one. Yes, we knew this would be very competitive. We knew that this was a tough fight. We knew that both guys would be 
very evenly matched in this fight. But we didn't expect to see this type of war between these two guys. Leg kick. Oh, beautifully placed with the left hook counter. When he gets close, he throws, he lands. Ali's blocking pretty well now, so an adjustment made by the fighter to protect that already significantly damaged nose. Well, it's a bloody Saturday, folks. He's really starting to leak out of that eye area, Daniel. Well, he's leaking, John. He's wide open. The eyes are beat up. The guy's taking a beating, and the blood has to be affecting his vision at this point. Ali gets tattooed by that stiff jaw. Well, we told you off the top of the broadcast he could do it all, but he's leaning on the striking tonight and continues to hit his opponent really with nice and very strong. Well, he can't miss. I mean, it's like the guy's throwing a baseball at the side of the ball. Oh! Oh! And back to his feet. Takedown defense holds up. Oh, he scored with that after the cut. Big punch lands through the middle. So wisely, he continues to attack that area that is cut wide open. When you were fighting, was that something you would do? You see a cut, try to oh, attack it? It's like a target. Yeah. All right, so the referee has called a halt to the action here, likely to have the doctor come in and look at the swelling around that eye. Not good, DC. You cannot allow these fighters to dictate and determine whether or not they can go. When you have this type of swelling, you got to take a close look to see if the guy can compete. All right, we'll see if the doctor allows the fight to continue. It looks as though he will. Crowd loves it when the doctor lets the fight continue, don't I they? I, I love it. I love it when he uh, lets it continue, especially when you have a ready. fight that has been as fun as this one to this point. All right, so the ringside position has made his way back to his seat. The referee gets the action back underway. The fans are excited this fight's going to continue. Absolutely, and I'm just as excited myself. I want to see these guys compete. I want to see who wins. I don't want it to stop. Back to his feet. That was going to end the fight. Yep. <laughs> Great job blocking that punch. Well, at this point, that is as bad a cut as I have seen in some time. I think you got to call in the ringside position. It's hard to watch. John, like, that's why I turn my face when I see stuff like this. It's disgusting. It's like Wolverine's lip. Yeah. It's like when we see these types of... Oh, he hurt again! Well, MMA is a constant exercise in risk mitigation, right? But it would seem to me that if he really goes for it offensively, you can get him out of there. Well, he's got him hurt. He's got him hurt. He's got him hurt multiple times in one round. It looks like this fight should be over by now. All right, so at this point, maybe the ringside position will indeed call the fight referee, bringing him in to look at that damage. Got to save the athlete from themselves. Too much damage. Stop the fight, ref. Yeah. Fans don't like it. An unfortunate ending to a great fight, but you had to do it. He's disappointed. But, I mean, he got beat up. Lived to fight another day. I think the official saved him. Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, the doctor has called a stop to this fight. Declaring the winner by TKO. And still, the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world. Muhammad Ali! All right, so a big result for a big man tonight as his star continues to shine. Congratulations to the still UFC heavyweight champion of the, the world. The baddest man on the planet is standing in the middle of that octagon right now. Over and over, you see him get new belts. The UFC heavyweight champion remains the same.